Good morning to all. I am Dr. Subbaya. Today I am going to discuss very important and common topic: food protein induced allergic proctocolitis in term and preterm infants. It is also known as eosinophilic proctocolitis or allergic colitis, and it is characterized by inflammatory changes in the distal colon in response to one or more different food proteins because of immune mediated reactions. The exact immunologic mechanisms responsible for this condition have not yet been clarified. It is usually described as a non-IgE associated disease. So, cow's milk is the most common trigger for this food protein induced allergic proctocolitis. And cow's milk is typically the first protein in an infant's diet. And cow's milk allergy is the most common food allergy in young infants. And cow's milk contains many different proteins: beta lactoglobulin, alpha lactalbumin, and casein are responsible for most milk allergens. Can cow's milk proteins in breast milk elicit symptoms in sensitized infants? Yes. Cow's milk proteins in breast milk can elicit various clinical symptoms in already sensitized infants. Mothers of infants with colic were found to have higher concentrations of beta lactoglobulin. And human milk samples reach maximum beta lactoglobulin content anywhere from 4 to 24 hours after cow's milk ingestion. What's the risk of cow's milk allergy in breastfeeding versus formula feeding? Cow's milk given in the first days or weeks of age in the form of cow's milk formula may initiate sensitization, triggering an allergic reaction upon subsequent exposure in the future, either through direct cow's milk ingestion or through cow's milk proteins in the human milk. So early supplementation of cow's milk formula during the first few days after birth may predispose infants to cow's milk allergy. So routine early introduction of cow's milk formula to exclusively breastfed infants is not recommended if the infant is healthy and maternal breast milk is available. And what's the clinical presentation of this FPIAP? So it typically manifests with blood streaked stools, mucus and or foam in stools. Significant anemia and failure to thrive are not typically present. And most term infants present with blood streaked stools at 2 to 8 weeks of age. Lesions affect the distal bowel including the colon and are most prominent in the rectosigmoid region. The most prominent histologic finding is eosinophilic infiltrates throughout the mucosa especially in the lamina propria. The exact mechanism is not well understood. No confirmatory laboratory test has been established. And the gold standard of diagnosis is resolution of symptoms with the elimination of the offending food protein for 2 to 4 weeks and recurrence of symptoms with reintroduction of the offending food. So symptoms typically improve over the course of 48 to 96 hours. Reintroduction is a key step in confirming this diagnosis to avoid overdiagnosis leading to unnecessary maternal dietary eliminations and are costly specialized formula. The main treatment is avoidance of the culprit food protein. In breastfed infants, mothers should eliminate cow's milk from their diet including products containing baked or processed milk and all cow's milk products. The prognosis of FP IAP is favorable and most infants are able to tolerate cow's milk introduction by 12 months of age. And what is FAP IAP in preterm infants? Many case reports have been described in preterm infants with the symptoms mimicking necrotizing enterocolitis who were then diagnosed with FP IAP. So, Coviola et al. described preterm twins with different presentations of cow's milk allergy. One infant developed vomiting, abdominal distension, bloody stools and lethargy with a normal abdominal radiograph and complete blood count. She improved after pausing enteral feeding. However, symptoms recurred several days after restarting enteral feeding. 
she developed eosinophilia and a positive radio allergo sorbent test resulted to beta lactoglobulin and alpha lactoglobulin the symptoms resolved with the transition to amino acid based formula her another twin presented with positive result on fecal occult blood test dilated bowel loops and abdominal pain that resolved after stopping enteral feedings 7 days after restarting enteral feedings she developed lethargy bradycardia abdominal distension positive result on fecal blood test and nematocysts of bowel was seen on an abdominal radiography so she was medically treated for stage 2 nec she had eosinophilia and a positive rast result to beta lactoglobulin therefore she was transitioned to an amino acid based formula which led to resolution of her symptoms human milk fortifiers pre term and very low birth to infants have additional caloric needs beyond human milk but these needs are met through the use of human milk fortifiers but traditionally human milk fortifiers have been cow's milk based however a commercial human milk based human milk fortifier is now available the sullivan et al found lower rates of nec in extremely pre term infants who are fed an exclusively human milk based diet including human milk based fortifier compared with infants fed bovine milk based fortifier so pre term and very low birth rate infants have a greater risk of developing nec when given formula compared with donor breast milk when maternal breast milk is not available so other non ige mediated food allergies are food protein induced enterocolitis syndrome food protein induced enteropathy and heiner syndrome when coming to the ige mediated cow's milk allergy it occurs when specific ige antibodies recognize the food protein and trigger an immune response in infants the most common presenting symptom of an ige mediated allergic reaction is atricaria in a retrospective study of 375 anaphylactic food reactions in infants and preschool children cow's milk was the most common food allergen the typical presentation is atricaria followed by angioedema wheezing vomiting diarrhea and rarely anaphylaxis for how to diagnose evidence of sensitization and a convincing history consistent with clinical reaction are often sufficient to diagnose ige mediated cow's milk allergy so management this avoidance and prompt treatment of reactions upon accidental exposure and infants with ige mediated cow's milk allergy should avoid cow's milk formulas and instead they should be fed a hypoallergenic infant formula an extensively hydrolyzed formula soya based formula or even an amino acid formula in more severe cases in a, if an infant with ige mediated cow's milk allergy tolerates maternal ingestion of cow's milk without symptoms the infant can continue to breastfeed without maternal elimination of cow's milk and 29 to 78 percentage of children tolerate cow's milk by the age of 6 years so this is the reference thank you